Hello, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be pretty chill. I got new makeup recently, most of which I haven't tried, and so I'm going to be trying it because I've had quite a few people, not like quite a few, I've had people ask on several occasions if I could do um, like how I do my makeup or do a makeup tutorial, and I'm going to. Also, I'm coming down with something. I'm like kind of sick right now, so excuse the occasional sniffling. Um, I've already washed my face, and so we are just gonna get right into it. And while I'm doing it, I'm just gonna be talking about life and things because I wouldn't know what else to talk about. So, um, we're starting with primer. I got this new one from Touch in Soul. I think it's a K-Beauty brand. Um, it's the Icy Sherbert Primer, silicone free and cooling effect. Oh, I like that packaging. It's like that weird kind of like frosted plastic. I don't know. Anyway, it's got a strong scent. It's very perfumey and look at the consistency. It's like weird. It's like weird looking. Cool. Okay. So you might have noticed my background is different. It's because I'm filming at my dining room or in my dining room at my dining room table because I had this background or not. I, I didn't have it put up. I put it up for my Halloween party and I figured I could get some extra use out of it before I cleaned up from the party and put all my decorations away and stuff but I'm lazy so I'm probably gonna keep it for longer like till after Halloween because honestly it's not even November yet what's the rush I can keep it up for a little bit longer because it's honestly a cool background and I'm probably gonna I might put the sparkly things up in the office maybe I don't know but it's definitely it's it's very much a beauty guru background also sorry I guess I should be reviewing these it's like thick, but it feels really good. Like it makes my skin feel super smooth, which is good. So this is like focusing on like blurring or like pore covering or something. My pores look blurred up in this area. I like, I don't have bad skin or anything, but I do have, like I don't have acne, but I do have some texture and some pretty big pores, particularly in this area, but like, it doesn't look too bad. So that's cool. Um, I'm assuming I need to let this dry a little bit. I'm definitely feeling the cooling technique or cooling effect, whatever. Next thing is I didn't want like, I don't do foundation. Whenever I do my makeup, I always just do concealer under my dark circles. But I've recently wanted to do like more face products because I don't really like how drastic it looks between my concealer and like the natural redness of my cheeks. But I don't really like heavy foundation stuff and I don't really know how to use that. So I found this, it's from Smashbox. It's the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer and it has like SPF in it. Can you focus? Yeah. And I got it in the shade Fair. Um, looks like that. This week is gonna suck because I'm like getting more and more sick. I look shiny. Like, I like it though. It's like, kind of like the dewy look. I kind of fuck with it. Okay, anyway, I don't know how much, okay, hold on, we have to shake it first. I don't know how much of this to use. I just tested it on my hand at the store and I was like, um, this is fine. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Like I can just put it on with my hands since it's literally just like a tinted moisturizer. Let's find out. So it looks like that. It's like, oh. Hi. Okay, it looks like that. It looks like not the right shade, but once it like gets onto the skin and like blends in, it is, okay, you, ne you need to sit and chill or you need to like move. You can't just, you can't just come up in the space. Should I have used my hands or should I use a blender? Does it even matter? Let's talk about life a little bit. 
because I've been thinking about what I want to do with my life because I'm not quitting YouTube anytime soon. Like, it's not in the agenda at all. But I've been thinking about it recently and like, I don't know if I want to be pushing 40 still talking about internet drama, but I wouldn't mind still being a YouTuber. And I know that, like, I guess if I were still wanting to do YouTube at that age, it would depend, I'm gonna use my beauty blender now, it would depend on like, like what the YouTube environment would look like at that point. If YouTube is even still around in 20 years or if it dies off like MySpace or if it changes into something else. But I've been thinking, you know, because I'm like, I know that this is such a stupid thing to say to the be to be the person that's like, I'm not made for real work, but like, I'm not. I'm not made to have a normal person job and be a normal person. You know, I want to do something more creative, whether that's social media or expanding beyond that. Okay, I look crazy on camera, but like looking in the mirror, it's not that bad. Like it looks just like a light foundation. It, honestly, it kind of looks good. Um, it's hard to tell on screen. Maybe that'll get better as I do more stuff, but in real life it looks okay. But anyway, so I was kind of like thinking and I think that I would want to do something either art or fashion related because I've been getting back into art and I really like it and I don't like do you know commissions or anything but I think that that's something I could do in the future or like try to do art for galleries or even like I don't know commercial art but I don't know. I don't know if I want to go down that route because last time I planned on turning art into a career, it made me hate art, which I'm going to talk about in a future video, so I don't need to get too much into it now. But something I really would like to do is something fashion related. Like if I were to have the time to go to like fashion school or something, I think that would be so fun. Whether it's like designing or critiquing just like the fashion world is so interesting to me and i was thinking about it the other day i kind of have like like this is my stupid plan for if i'm like ever a stupid billionaire that has like too much money and too much time on my hands i think a project that i would really like to do is this okay um bear with me and i'm gonna talk while i put on my concealer this isn't new i use this all the time it's my elf hydrating camo concealer um in the shade light ivory i've used it before it's my go-to anyway so something i think will be very cool is a clothing brand for big like broad dogs like bully breeds in particular and I was thinking about this because I have, as you know, I have two dogs. I have Casper and I have Fives, who you guys just saw. Now Casper is a Husky Pyrenees and Fives is like a pit bull, American Bulldog type of mix. And they're both very big, but they're big in different ways. Like Casper is He's like 65 pounds and he's tall and he's, he's not like skinny, but he's skinnier than fives and fives is like fucking 85, 90 pounds. And he's not as tall as Casper, but he's a lot thicker, a lot broader. And so whenever I try to buy dog clothes, it's very hard to find dog clothes that fit fives perfectly. You know, or at least it's harder to find clothes that fit fives rather than finding clothes that fit Casper. And so I always have to like go like so like multiple sizes up 
so the clothes aren't too tight on Fives' shoulders. Like, if something fits Cass, it's very hit or miss as for if it would fit Fives. Even if they're kind of around the same size, their body compositions are different. So I have to size up for Fives' clothes, but then if you go too many sizes up, it's like, Okay, it fits his shoulders now, but now it looks like a freaking dress, you know? So what I think would be really cool is to make dog clothes for dogs that are, like, wide, you know? So they don't have to go, like, four sizes too big just to get something that, like, sort of fits. And I know that that's not, like... A revolutionary thing. I'm pretty sure there's people that already do that. I'm not a fucking pioneer for thinking of doing that. I just think it'd be something fun for me personally to do for my dog and just for my pleasure. I would get to make doggy designs and stuff because I like fashion and I love my dogs and I just think that that would be a fun project. I am so excited about this. Okay, so this is, we're moving on to contour. This is the Woma Double Take. It's a sculpt and strobe stick. I got it in white pearl. I've been wanting to try Woma since I think it was a Nikki Tutorials video where she had them featured. And it's like, so it's like this on one side. This is the contour. On the other side, the highlight. I've never used like a cream contour before. So I literally have no idea how. So this could go, I could literally ruin everything right now. But let's just see. I don't know how much to put on. I feel like that's, is that too much? I'm literally such a baby. Okay, whatever, I'm just gonna put this shit on. Okay, for fucking, do I use my, do I use a brush or a beauty blender for cream contour? I don't know, I've seen it done both ways. I'm gonna use this ColourPop um, Bestie. Bestie. Oh my God, Bestie. <laughs> Whatever, you get it, it's a fucking angled brush, okay? Okay, it's really harsh right now. <laughs> it's gonna get better, okay? This looks nice. It's hard to, I'm like really over, ex I'm like overexposed on camera. I'll see if I can adjust that a bit when I'm editing. But in real life, this is looking pretty good. Like it's blending super smooth. Um. Okay, I feel like, I feel like that's good. I can't tell. I'm like nervous. It's like, I'm not filming in the best lighting. So I'm like, is this too much? Is it not enough? And I have to go in public after this. I have to go to the bank. <laughs> so hopefully this, hopefully this doesn't look terrible. Speaking of fashion-ish stuff, I've been having people ask for merch lately and I've been thinking of doing it, but I want to make merch that's like stuff that you could wear and people not recognize that it's merch, you know? Like I want to do a lot of different types of stuff. Like I want to do something where it's like obvious that it's mine and then stuff that's like it could pass as normal, normal clothes. Because that's the kind of merch I like. I like when it's like more... More like, if you know, you know, rather than it being shoved in your face. So, I don't know. That's something I would need to think of, though. But I think what I might do as, like, a test run is I got one of those, um, I got a, like, what is it called? The screen printing thing where you get, like, the block and you, like, make the design and then you carve it out and you put the paint and that. I got a kit for that recently, and I think it might be cool to make a little design and buy, like, plain t-shirts or tote bags and, like, literally hand make some limited edition merch or something. I feel like that'd be cool. Let me know if you're interested in that. But this is all, like, slightly future stuff because I need to get a website set up. That's on my to-do list. I want to get like a square, a square pace, a square space or something. So when I divide my talents into other parts of 
talentry. I don't fucking know. Whenever I start doing art and stuff, I want to have a website where it's like, okay, here's my YouTube, here's this, here's art, here's that. And one of those things would be merch. Anyway, I got this new brush because I didn't have a powder brush. I've been using a foundation brush to do my powder, and I don't really like doing that, so I got this. Oh yeah, this is so much better. It feels good too. That's one thing. Hi. You want some powder? But you're already so beautiful. I cannot wait for it to get colder. We had like a few days of it being like in the 70s and it was so nice. But now it's back up to 90. I want it to get cold again. I'm so ready for like the holidays, the season. Tis the season. I need to get a Christmas tree. This is gonna be my first no, it's literally not. This is gonna be, this is gonna be my second Christmas. No. How? I cannot do math. It's my second, third, third. Oh my God, it's my third Christmas as a adult, you know, not with my parents. But it's my first Christmas in my place in my apartment with my pets and my boyfriend. And so I have to buy a tree and, you know, decorations and stockings and I'm so excited. I am so excited. Okay, I don't really do blush. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't really feel like it. We're moving on to the eyeballs now. I wanna do kind of like a smoky winged eyeliner, but like with eyeshadow, but I want it to be kind of like vampire-y, so it's like black and then it fades into a red, you know? That's the vision. Keep up. Anyway, so. I don't know why I said so. I don't have anything to say. I'm just excited for the holidays. Oh, sorry, my palette. This is not a new palette. I haven't gotten myself a new eyeshadow palette in a while. This is the Beauty Bay Bright Matte palette. I got it on sale. It's like 42 colors, and honestly, this is my go-to. And this could be your go-to because my go-to used to be the James Charles palette because I got it as a gift and like I still have it and I still like, actually I don't even really use it. I've used it obviously. I haven't thrown it away just because I don't support him. I don't support him. I didn't give him my money. It was a gift. But I don't like using it because I still like, I still feel kind of bad. So if you're like me where you're like, I need a go-to, um, this is really good. This is a good palette. It, Obviously is all mattes though, so it doesn't have like the shimmers that James has had, but like who cares? Anyway, yeah, I haven't bought myself an eyeshadow palette in quite some time. I think the last time I did was a few months ago. I finally got the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette, but like recently I just haven't been doing like full face eyes. Like I've never, like, I have so many palettes that I don't use now, and I've realized that, so I don't really, I don't really buy myself palettes anymore. Whenever I buy makeup, it's always, like, face stuff, or, like, different eyebrow. Oh my god, I forgot to do my eyebrows. I'll do it in a sec, I don't care. I feel the need to keep talking, but also I need to focus. So, like, I don't know. Are y'all gonna be fine if I do, like, a little time lapse? I feel like my voice is annoying and I don't want to talk that much. I'll take pictures because the camera angle is not doing it justice, but my mirror is doing it justice. I also forgot to grab my eyeliner, so I need to grab that. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? You entertaining? Excuse me. Hi. 
You've really been trying to steal the show recently. What is up? Excuse me. I kind of don't like it, but it's not done yet. Just let me work. <laughs> how, bro, oh my God, how did I mess this eye up so bad? <gasps> no. <gasps> it looks so bad. I, it looks so bad. I will say, I usually like before, like usually just doing my makeup, I would have pretty bad creasing under my eyes and it's pretty smooth. I don't know if that's the primer or if that's the tinted moisturizer or if it's both of them, but honestly, I think I'm gonna have to recommend both of them. And also obviously nothing in this video is like I don't have an affiliate link. Nothing in this is sponsored. I had to go to Ulta for something com completely separate, which actually is for a future video. And then I just kind of shopped a little bit while I was there. But nothing is like sponsored. I would tell you if it was, because if not, I think that's like illegal. So, um, I like, I, I, bleh, bleh, what the fuck? I plugged in my laptop. I let it charge while I did my mascara. That's the only thing you missed. It, I did mascara. The Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. This is actually my favorite mascara. Um, so, let's finally do eyebrows. Eyebrows are usually like the fucking like second thing I do after concealer. So I can't believe that I'm doing them now. Um, I'm going in with the like an e.l.f. gel. Am I just having a bad makeup day? Like, what the fuck is going on? The day I film a fucking makeup video is the day everything is like, you know, let's actually not look good. Okay, then I go in with uh, the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. It's the, like, marker thing. I know I didn't let it focus. I don't care. It's a marker. You get the idea. And I just go in and fill in like empty spots. Okay, I'm afraid that this is as good as they're gonna get. They aren't very great, but it's fine. I'm tired. <laughs> We're doing highlighter next. I use the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian. It looks like that. Final thing is lips. I have two new things to try. I've already tried this. This is a Clinique gloss. I have this Clinique lips lipstick. I don't know if I want to try it though. I also don't even know if I want to try this gloss. I feel like that's like going to make it too dark. Should I just do like a regular gloss? Let's see. What if we do just like a little bit of this? Okay. That's not bad. Um, this lighting is so terrible i don't know what's going on with my camera because in real life it's like not god awful i'll take pictures and like put them on the screen so you can get the full effect um this is the final look it's meh it's okay that's all i have to say <laughs> my energy just depleted so fast i hope you enjoyed this it looks i'm like upset i don't know if it's my camera angle or what but this doesn't look as good as it does in real life thank you so much for watching if you liked this video then like the video if you um liked the video comment on the video if you liked the video subscribe to the video maker and i will see you soon with another video <laughs> okay thank you and goodbye